my colleagues. And my name is Wei Jilan, and I'm a PhD student at uh, INHA of SQPOF at Avignon, France. So during the past three years, I was working on the development of the advanced models to evaluate the variability and the heterogeneity of apple green and during the industrial puree processing. So spectroscopy and imaging technique are applied to my researches. So today I'm very pleased to introduce a part of my work named infrared spectroscopy to guide food formulation, an innovative concept applied on apple puree. So this work is supervised with uh, um, Benoit Leger, Catherine Renard, Alexandre Lega, and Sylvie Bureau. So apple is uh, one of the most wide cultiv cultivated fruits around the, around the world. So apple puree is an ideal, uh, ideal source of healthy con constitute and such as the polyphenols and fibers and also it can be used as the intermediate of uh, smoothies, fruit sauces, pie fillings, and uh, some and uh, the fruit-based baby fruit. And it's ranked the second largest market of the fruit purees after banana, uh, with a very high um, annual global market values. And also in French, and it's uh, and, and in France, it's, it's uh, around 14 percentage of the harvested apples are processed into purees and around, um, 50, uh, around 54 percentage of uh, purees are mixed with uh, different fruits. <clears throat> Currently, uh, we, the ever increasing the variability of the raw apples can introduce the difficulties for fruit processors to know how to produce expected and constant final purees. For example, here is some, uh, some uh, um, purees and they are corresponding raw apples um, cooked by our laboratory. And we find that there was a large diversity of uh, um, apples and also with their corresponding purees in different, uh, in different variety, apple variety. And as well as in the same variety, in different uh, individual apples, we can observe the, a large the, the, um, diversity of their, also with their texture and their colors with uh, the processed uh, puree, cooked purees. So the challenging work right now is to um, provide some specific guidance to know, to formulate this uh, different uh, processed uh, single varietal purees to, uh, to get the uh, final consistent mixed purees and use, if it's possible to use their information of the, of the before formulation with their row, with their individual composed single varietal purees to formulate their final purees. If so, we can produce the, the sustainable purees and also optimize the choice of the raw apples and lose and limit loose and waste, and even to use the variability to enhance the pure quality. So to reach our objectives, so we design an experiment and uh, with uh, four different uh, variety of apples and to cook uh, the purees around uh, two kilogram of each set, and uh, during the three successful uh, during the three successive weeks and with uh, Garden, Graham Smith, Brayburn, and Gala. So, and, uh, uh, so after the process of individual purees, so we are, uh, we are uh, mixed this, uh, each of each two varieties from the um, proportions of 5% uh, to, to the 95%. And so that's, that means it's, uh, we have nine different uh, groups of the percentages and we in divided the six of them to be a calibration set and uh, the, the rest of the three groups into the validation set. And both of the, all in, uh, for both of the um, single variety purees and their formulated purees, we acquired the spectra of uh, visual near and near and mirror on them, as well as uh, the characterization with their uh, viscosities and uh, soluble solid contents, pH and color and dry matters. 
So we want to develop some models to first trace trace the proportions of the each uh, of the each apple variety in this formulated purees, as well as the second models to predict the formulated purees quality spectra from the initial uh, single variety purees spectra. So um, the first to reach our first objective. So we developed some we developed a model and that we using the visual near and near spectra of the formulated purees and their proportions and their composed proportions. And finally, we observed that the mirror coupled with the POS uh, models can give uh, sensitive estimations of the puree formulations of four um, different uh, com composed varieties in the mixture, mixed purees. And this result is better than the visual near. And visual near can have the good uh, estimation of the tree to trace the composed proportion of single variety purees uh, in Brayburn and Graham Smith, but it's uh, it's uh, have the poor results with um, the Garden Delicious and Royal Gala, which have the similar colors uh, and textures in in the in the uh, of the purees of the processed purees. So. Uh, we can conclude that that's the first of, with the first models, the mirror with the POS is a powerful tool to estimate the apple purees proportions. And to reach our second objective, and we have a, we have innovative strategies um, based on the multi curve multi multivariate curve resolution alternative list squares MCRAOS. So first we firstly. We use the the, uh, we, the concentration profile was uh, obtained based on the average spectra between the single variety purees and uh, all their formulated purees. So then, when we obtained the pure um, concentration profile and we coupled with the single uh, with the single uh, spectra of uh, with the average spectra of the single variety purees, and to um, to create to have a reconstructed purity spectra uh, with, uh, and to create a new matrices, a spectra matrices. That's then, and we finally, we use a POS and machine learning models were developed and compared using the row spectra and, and, their, and their reconstructed spectra of uh, single composed, from single composed purities. So our modeling results demonstrated that uh, using of the row spectra and the reconstructed spectra demonstrated that uh, we, if we use the reconstructed spectra and uh, calculated from the single variety purees, and it gives a relatively lower uh, accuracy than the row spectra, but uh, it's all the quality traits of these uh, parameters have uh, of the form of the formulated um, purees can have a, a satisfactory prediction of these parameters. So we can conclude that, uh, but for the visual near that we, we, we don't obtain the, the good results when we uh, reconstruct the spectra. So finally, we conclude that that near spectra acquired on single variety purees can reconstruct their um, formulated spectra of uh, a formulated, uh, a, a formulated purity spectra and then allowed to predict the viscosity, soluble solids, tetraacidity of uh, formulated purees. And in the future, I think this method opens uh, the, a possibility to give the assessment of the quality of uh, different formulated purees based only on the near spectra, spectra of the single purees before formulation. For example, if we acquired the near spectra of the single variety purees, and we can predict it, the gives uh, lots of options to of the formulation strategies and uh, with uh, higher um, with the uh, different colors, acidity, and viscosities with our spectral reconstruction method. And uh, this new solution to it's a, a new way to handle the variability from raw materials and optimize the quality of the final puree products, even explore the new products. 
So the conclusion is that um, this work indicated that near infrared, it's a, it's a powerful tool to trace the variability proportions and predict the quality properties in formulated purees. And also it's an innovative strategy to guide impurity formulation. So if you want to looking for uh, more information of this work and you can, uh, re you can read our publicated, publicated uh, paper yeah, in food control. Thank you, that's all.